Good evening, friends. Stephen Burnett with Israeli News Live and uh, wanted to speak to you guys real quick about the translation process on iConnect. <clears throat> and the reason I'm reaching out to you guys about this is because we do need some help uh, from those of you that listen. Maybe somebody might be willing to volunteer their time. And uh, so I wanted to share with you how this system works here uh, so that um, so that uh, if you have the time and, and would like to help us work on editing uh, the transcript that the, that the system puts out, and maybe even you have the ability, you understand the foreign language, etc., that you might even be able to help edit on that. Uh, not that there's a requirement of the foreign language to be edited, but it is very helpful. So I want to show you guys how this process works here. And, uh, and then to see if maybe perhaps some of you out there might be willing to help us in this. Uh, that would really be wonderful. Uh, the, the way it works to start with, when I go into my system here, like in this particular video, I'll click on it. <clears throat> it says uh, transcript review needed. Now, I'd already clicked on it once the video was first made. I already clicked on it, and uh, I had... Um, uh, click the system to be able to actually transcribe the video. The AI system transcribes what is actually said in the video. And this is it right here. And there is a way they've set this up too to where I can make you like a moderator where you can go in there yourself. You get a portal where you can go in and you can actually e edit the transcript to make sure it says what we're saying in the video. So like, for example, good evening, friends, Stephen uh, Benoon, and actually I have my lovely wife, Yana, on the, and of course, I didn't say the word here, but I actually put that in there because uh, I'm new. I thought I would actually said that, but I haven't actually d didn't say that actually. Um, uh, but anyway, what it does is you're supposed to kind of follow along and edit what's on there. And once we edit the English, uh, the English version of this, then what you do at that point is after you've edited that, then you would uh, actually update and save the transcript, which is what we're going to do now. And then what you would do then, um, uh, then you're able to go in once once the transcription is complete, which it's showing that it is, which it really isn't, because on this one I have not finished doing the edit as of yet. Uh, then you would add a translation to it. And once you add a translation to it, uh, what, it, what it allows me to do is come down and choose the language, like in this case here, the Chinese language. If, if we had somebody that, able, that does speak Chinese fluently, I could have you also maybe edit the Chinese to make sure the Chinese is saying what we're saying up here in the English language. So everything is in a written format that is being edited. And then, of course, what they do then is they put a AI voice that goes over the top of that and then that's how we get the other languages out to the to the world. Uh, so it is it's a it's a it's a quite of a, a process. And um, and what we're wanting to be able to do, especially with the teaching videos, is to make sure that those are really uh, edited well. And the transcript, the English transcript, and of course, if we can get somebody that knows Russian, or in our case, we have Hebrew, Chinese, Russian, and um, Spanish get some uh, people that could volunteer to help us with that, that would really be a blessing. And of course, uh, with the, especially the English side of it, if we had multiple people that could help with that, uh, then maybe we could have it to where maybe somebody just dedicates, okay, I'll do them on Monday or I'll do them on Tuesday, uh, things like that. That would also be a real blessing as well. So I wanted to put that out and see if anybody would be interested. Again, you can email us at israelinewslive at gmail.com and uh, put in there uh, transcribing, I guess is what you would call it. It's actually editing transcribing, but if you just put transcribing in the subject line, I would be able to find that. Anyway, thank you for listening. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live, and God bless you.